Hey everyone! Yo, good. Don't interrupt me. Um, so, on to the next one, Crash 2. Let's do a new game before it, you know, goes into like a blooming whatever. So there you go, here's confirmation that, uh, you know, the uh, beating Cortex is canon. <laughs> Crystals, of course. What is he up to this time? Well, I know I won't trust him. A year? But Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals. From Slavery How engine? To retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. I wonder who that's going to be. Good choice. Crash? Crash? Crash, my battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. An extra battery? Has she not heard of charging? And what? He's gonna Crash is just gonna go out here and find a battery. I don't believe that for a second. Nope, gotta get everything. Good thing they did in this as well, where the, those stripe crates are always worth ten as long as you do a continuous jump, rather than in Crash One where there was sometimes nine. Kind of off-putting. So, whoa, what's happening? Well, well. Don't trust him, Crash. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot. Welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here. But I rather expect a written invitation. Crude? Is it in your face portal? Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Crash was just dumb door, enough to I go in it. Crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. Aye, aye. We will speak again. Well, I instantly trust him. Let's do Turtle Woods. So, off the bat, we're going to get all the, you know, we're going to get both gems and the crystal. Um, but we'll start off with the crystal and the clear gem. Pretty sure I didn't get all of those. Oh well. It's a much prettier game than Crash 1 as well. There's only a year of separation in development. I mean, Crash, is, Crash 1 is still a great game, but they really did improve on it in Crash 2, and Crash 3 went even a step further. I still prefer Crash 2, though. It's just one of those games of my childhood. Like, this is before the days of, you know, going on the internet, finding out all the things you're, you're not sure about. So, my friend, my, you know, my friend and I at school, we were, you know, trying to complete Crash Bandicoot, and then we'd report into school the next day and, like, tell each other... What we found, like I, I found how to get like the purple gem and and the red gem. And he found the the yellow gem and the green gem. I can't remember who found the blue gem. No, he found the blue gem. I think it was probably we probably just both found the yellow gem by ourselves. satisfying to get that to get all to get gems that way. Yeah you have limited time to get up because those guys will put will go lower down and you won't be able to reach the platforms. I 
remember when I was a kid, I always made a big deal about killing the enemies, but a lot of times it's just easier to jump over them. Oh, and that's another good thing. Bloody invisible walls on stuff like that. Something Fresh 1 didn't have. If you get the annoying death where you accidentally go forward off screen. Well, sorry, off, off, you know, you'd like be able to run towards the screen like this. And oh, look! There's an invisible wall. I can't accidentally go off the platform. Nope, first bonus level is always going to be easy. Obviously bonus levels are a lot kinder in this game. In... well, they're easier, you can constantly repeat them if, even if you muck, muck up. You can even repeat them once, once you've uh, done the level, they're not one time only. And obviously the most important thing is free saving. That is the best damn thing about this game. You get to save... The saving is done in the warp room. It's brilliant. It's how every game should work. I'll be, you know, I'll be fair. You know, we're talking about Crash One was um, early PlayStation. I think it was, what released because they planned on it on Crash to be the uh, PlayStation mascot, which worked for a bit until well, Naughty Dog fell out with Sony. They didn't, uh, they didn't fall out with Sony per se. They fell out with um, well, they fell out with someone. Because I doubt they'd be ma still making PlayStation exclusives if they fell out of Sony. But something happened. Hence why they stopped making Crash Bandicoots at Crash Team Racing. Right, there's my clear gem. I'll get some more people chatting to me in a moment. Let him do his dance. And for the record, I will not be interrupting his dance. That would just be inappropriate. Who's chatting to me now? Cortex again. Yeah. Well done, Crash. I then Coco I might interrupt. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the is only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Got it. Oh, what do you want, sister? No. Okay, blue gem. Now we get to talk to Embryo next. <laughs> it's a terrible impression, but it's not too far off what he sounds like. And to be fair, I think it's a pretty solid voice for Embryo. So, as you may have noticed, the gimmick to getting all the boxes, um, sorry, to getting the blue gem is to not get any of the boxes, hence why I'm running past them all. <laughs> Which means you're kind of, any kind of end up speedrunning this level. So yeah, I, I managed to jump over them, but I mean, I was aiming for the for the striped crate box anyway, you know, in case, because then you can just jump over uh, using um, the striped crate box to sort of propel over. Huh, I forgot I could do that. Yeah, jump on them to escape the pit. Or sometimes you can slide out like that. Gem. So there we go. First level was always going to be pretty straightforward. That was Turtle Woods. 
don't know how quickly I did that in. It says I've been running for 10 minutes, but obviously I did all the uh, intro scenes. Uh, it's a little mini tutorial and listening to people talk to me. Very, very quick. And as I said, not interrupting that dance. That beautiful dance. So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> you know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser! <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering Chris. Gathering Chris? Chris could be a valuable ally. Seriously though, he doesn't do anything. Don't. He's, 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 he's all talk. So, that was uh, Turtle Woods. I'm going to save here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.